Hello everybody, I'm Rebecca and this is Mila. And Mila here has a little story that she would like to share. Of course, she's borrowing my voice and she doesn't really like to sit still for too long. So there's a very big chance that she's gonna get bored and run off somewhere else during the middle of this video. But alas, it is her story nevertheless. So as you can see, Mila, well, she's a mutt. <laughs> And unfortunately, as we all know, mutts have a harder time finding homes, and that's exactly what happened to her. When Mila was around a little bit over a month old, most of her siblings had found homes, and Mila hadn't. So I guess the person who owned her mother decided that she just couldn't keep up with the puppies anymore, and she left both Mila, okay, well, she, she wants to go now. <laughs> and uh, she left both Mila and her brother in a box in the park. I happened to be there by pure chance, pure accident, and I stumbled upon this happening. And my curiosity got the best of me. So I went up there, I saw Mila and her brother in the box and let me tell you she was a tiny little thing like you just saw her she's here behind the camera watching me as I speak for her <laughs> um, but she was a tiny little thing she was maybe like about the size of her head now now she weighs around 20 kilos Mila's having zoomies Mila was the first dog that I've had from puppyhood so I was really learning about raising a dog as I was raising her. And that's probably why I never really gave a second thought to the fact that her neck is thicker than her head. And I really didn't think twice about the fact that her collar could easily slip off. And one day when we were out walking, that's actually exactly what happened. She got spooked by a group of people and her, like she, she slipped off her fur collar and she ran into the street. That is one of the scariest moments in my life. Like they say that when you have a near death experience, your entire life flashes before your eyes. This was like the opposite situation. I, I, like I felt like everything was going in super slow motion. It probably didn't happen this way, but like I swear to this day that the car that hit her, like that the tire literally like ran her over. After that, I told myself, like, there's no way I'm ever going to put a leash on a collar and walk her with that ever again. Which is when I started doing some research on different harnesses, the safety of harnesses, which ones were better than others. I learned about the, the, the trachea thing, where if your dog pulls too much on, on anything pressing on their neck, it can hurt their tracheas, um, they can have breathing problems later. I learned about the fact that some harnesses are really harsh on their armpits and they can get uh, sores that way. And I wanted a harness that she could wear all day, that would be comfortable, that wouldn't have any type of negative repercussions, but that would also keep her safe. That is when I discovered Gooby. Originally, I bought the Comfort X Step-In Harness and the Escape Free Easy Fit Harness. Both harnesses were like the chef's kiss, like the, the creme de la creme. Um, <laughs> they both definitely met my needs and Mila's and they're incredibly durable, actually. I bought both harnesses in like 2017 and I mean, I, she still uses them. They're a little bit dirty maybe, but um, that's really because Mila likes to roll around in mud and other questionable substances. Recently, we've also started using the Comfort X Harness Dual Snap, which I didn't think I would like because it's an over the head thing, but it's really, really great for like going out on different adventures. Keeps her tucked in, keeps her safe. She cannot slip out of it. It's like physically impossible for her to get out of this harness. And well, I don't know what more I can say. I love Gooby. Mila loves Gooby. If I put her harness on the floor, just lay it out, she will literally step into it herself and just stay there waiting for me to snap it into place. It's adorable. And I know I sound like an infomercial, but like to put it simply, I, I love Gooby harnesses as much as I love my phone, which is a lot. So that's the story that Mila wanted to share today. 
of course she needed to use my voice because she knows that unfortunately other humans don't understand her as well as I do. You can head over to goobypet.com to check out the harnesses that I've mentioned. They have a whole bunch of other types of harnesses as well and like I said I highly highly recommend them in case you're looking for anything that's super comfortable for your dog, very safe for your dog. I honestly put my entire trust in Gooby. And they also have like really good clothes on there as well. And with that, everybody, well, Mila and I will see you next time.